In the simplest terms, The Boys in the Boat tells the story of the 1936 U.S. rowing team and their quest for gold at the Olympics. It's told around main character Joe Rance. And the movie, directed by George Clooney, comes out on Christmas Day. It's a story very familiar to Rance's family, who called Greendale home. It's my oldest brother, Fred, and my sister, Judy. Jenna Rose Murdoch grew up the youngest of five kids. Her dad, the center of the family. He was a wonderful man. I mean, there wasn't, he loved, he loved family. He loved us. Murdoch's son, Matthew. I thought it was like cool, really cool. Remembers his grandpa coming to speak to his class as a kid because while Joe Rance was a family man, he had quite a story to tell. My dad never lost a race. He competed on the world-renowned University of Washington rowing team that won gold at the 1936 Olympics in Berlin under the Nazi regime. The true story is captured in the book, The Boys in the Boat. The depression hit everyone hard. No jobs, no food. We were broke. Looks like it's also been made into a soon to be released movie. I'm not sure that how he would take it. I think he would, he would think it's okay. The story centers on Rance. But it's about my grandpa, he's the main character. On his struggles during the depression, trying to get an education. They showed how he had, was abandoned several times and had to learn to be on his own. It also focuses on the story of the team of eight. That feeling of it was the boat, the guys all together, that was something special. And they had to learn how to trust. The family has photos. This is from uh, when they landed in Berlin. Newspaper articles and scrapbooks dedicated to that time. Both give talks on the story of the boys in the boat. It is read every year in Greendale's public schools. A piece of history and family pride. We always knew the story should be written because it's so inspiring. Namurda herself was born in Washington as well, but she moved to Milwaukee for her job as a music therapist when she was 28, made it her home. Gosh. And you're probably wondering, do they like the movie? Right. Well, they just went and saw it oh, yesterday. Awesome. They had an early screening in Brookfield, so uh, all of the family came and checked it out. Her oh. dad did die in 2007 at the age of 93, so he didn't get a chance to see the book or the movie, but... Um, as you heard her say there, yeah. she, she's pretty sure he would like it. I bet. I bet he'd be pretty, <laughs> uh, you know, pretty surprised about it. And just to think about how young those guys were when they're oh going through all this. Really, I mean, you, you don't think about that. If you were 18, 22 years old going through right. that kind of stuff, wow. What they had to overcome. Yes. I have read the book, so oh, yeah. now I'm looking forward to seeing the movie, too. All right. Well, all right. Well, if you would like to tell me about a hero in your life, you can always send me a message.